Punksy Phil says six more weeks of winter. In the short term, he's dead on. In this video, we're going to break down a significant blast of Arctic air. Short-lived, but it's going to hurt a little bit. Then we're going to talk about the active pattern returning to the west coast of the U.S. Then that cold front that delivers all of that Arctic chill moves into the Caribbean. It's going to increase rain chances, especially for us on the western side. We're going to break that part of the forecast down closer to the end of the video. Everybody is looking at Florida extremely jealous. Big time ridge of high pressure down over the Caribbean, over the Bahamas, and parts of Florida. Near record temperatures. We're talking 80s in Florida Thursday. The core of this massive blast of colder air starts to focus on Friday morning, really to the eastern two-thirds of the country, especially where you see this core of that purple color there. Extremely anomalous cold blasting through the Great Lakes and then into the northeast. Again, this is on Friday. Mentioned earlier that it's going to be short-lived. Watch it work its way already off the coast. This is going to be Saturday morning. Still really, really cold in the northeast and New England. Once we get into Sunday, it's still going to be bitter cold, but notice it's just a very small sliver in Maine and parts of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. The red already returning, meaning that a quick warm-up is coming for us by the second half of the weekend and then into the upcoming work week. Notice all the red, the anomalous warmth starting to build, especially into the upper Midwest and northern plains that's something that's going to continue also likely through the middle of february now it's going to be short-lived but it's going to hurt look at this these are the wind chills as we move into friday morning we're looking towards the dakotas and minnesota where you see that blue color here that's where we're talking about 20 to 30 degrees below zero with the wind factored in this dark pink color Closer to Fargo and to Northwest Minnesota, International Falls, Bemidji, Alexandria. We're talking 25 to 35 degrees, if not even colder, below zero. Again, that's when you wake up on Friday morning. We are going to take things out into Saturday. Mention again, this is going to be a brief blast of cold. So this is Saturday morning now. Already, the wind chills have returned to the teens above zero, especially in the western Dakotas. Still below zero in parts of Minnesota, but we're only talking single digits to teens below zero as the core of that cold starts to shift east. So here we go in the east. This is on Friday. This is the start of the blast of cold for us in the northeast and New England specifically. Again, we're talking about temperatures, the wind chills being below zero in Pittsburgh. Friday morning through most of Michigan, 10 to 15 degrees below zero. UP of Michigan, more like 15 to 25 degrees below zero. Again, these are wind chills. That chill extends towards Toronto, about 10 to 15 below with the wind. Look at this, 15 to 35 degrees below zero. Upstate New York. There is the bullseye, 32 below. That's nothing. Watch what happens when you wake up on Saturday morning. This is going to be significant. Again, this is the air that you don't want to be outside for more than a couple of minutes. That dark, deep purple. Dark, deep purple. Just made up a new word, darp. The dark purple here is where we're talking about 50 to 65 degrees below zero. That's going to be in western Vermont through New Hampshire into northern Maine. Look at that, 57 below with the wind factored in, 53 below in western Maine with the wind factored in. We're talking about the big cities, Boston, 35 degrees below zero by the time you wake up on Saturday morning. Again, a short-lived blast of cold but it is going to be significant. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Also, I would love to know if you are rooting for six more weeks of winter or an early spring. Post that in the comments below. We are picking up on Friday afternoon. Here is the Arctic cold front that will eventually slice on through the Caribbean. We'll get into that more localized Caribbean forecast in a little bit. Big high pressure cell sliding in out of Canada, dominating the region through the upper Midwest into the Northeast, maybe a little bit of lake effect snow Friday afternoon. The bigger system then starts to take aim on the West coast of the United States. It's not going to be anything like we saw with those atmospheric rivers per se, 
but focusing towards the Cascades into the northern tier of the Sierra Nevadas and then in the foothills also of the Cascades. Watch what happens as we move forward over the next couple of days and into your weekend. There's Saturday morning with the rain towards Seattle. Again, the Cascades starting to get battered with some very heavy snow. The more significant storm comes in for the second half of the weekend. This is going to be on Sunday now. Heavy, heavy snow returning to the Sierra Nevadas. Again, great drought-busting snow. Eventually, when we start to melt this, this is going to be great to fill up some of the reservoirs as well. Still some very heavy rain towards Seattle. And then crushing snow into the Sierra Nevadas. Again, we're talking about snowfall rates several inches per hour. I'm going to take this out through early next week. This is now going to be through Thursday. So a week from today, and note how much snow falls. It's maxing out at 114 inches of snow. That is going to be in the higher elevations here in the Cascades. So again, nasty winter weather in the higher elevations of the Cascades. Not as much through Oregon. Certainly we're talking about feet still. It's all relative when you're talking about this much snow. And then again, in this year, this is going to be nothing compared to what we saw late last year in 2022 and then early 2023 in those first couple of weeks of January. Nonetheless, we're still talking about another one to three feet of snow in that bright pink there in the higher elevations of the Sierra Nevada. So a ski lover's dream coming down the pipeline if you live in those areas or planning to visit. Again, all of this is eventually going to be great news to help the extreme drought situation that has improved but again, we still have a long way to go out in California in parts of the Pacific Northwest in terms of that drought. This is Friday night now, and into the Caribbean we go. Of course, mentioned that people may be jealous if they're not in Florida, really the only state in the lower 48 that is missing out on winter, at least for now, at least this round of winter weather. Here is our cold front right here, and you see the rain moving in Friday afternoon and into Friday evening through the Florida Peninsula. That's going to extend back towards the Yucatan, Belize, Honduras. We're going to get in on some of that rain as well from that front. I want to take this a little further out into the future to start the weekend. There's Saturday morning, so if you have a cruise leaving Florida, if you're hanging out in the Bahamas, if you live in the Bahamas, there's some of that rain in the green there. Rainy weather continues for us in and around Belize, parts of Central America. I also then want to turn your attention towards the Eastern Caribbean. So the big thing that's been keeping Florida kind of missing out on winter this week has been this area of high pressure right in here. That is now moving way out into the Atlantic. But what this does for us in the Caribbean is help to increase the wind a little bit out of the east into the tropical Atlantic. So we're talking more rain in the Windward Islands, Trinidad and Tobago. This is going to be Saturday morning, likely dealing with some scattered showers. And then we also have more scattered showers coming back into play into places for us in and around St. Lucia, Dominica, Martinique, getting into the Leeward Islands as well, Puerto Rico. We're dry on that representation on Saturday morning, but we'll take this further, further out. And then you see some of that green pushing back in on the island. This is going to be uh, closer to Saturday evening now at about 7 o'clock Saturday evening. You see a few scattered showers in and around Puerto Rico moving towards the Dominican Republic. And then maybe even some heavier rain closer towards the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos as well. So something to be mindful of. Nothing too significant. But that front does mean business as it starts to slide through. will also bring some relatively cooler air back down the pipeline for us in the Western Caribbean as well. Just a friendly reminder that the groundhog predicting six more weeks of winter doesn't mean a thing. He's going to be right in the short term, as we talked about. But beyond this blast of cold, we started to allude to that a little bit beyond the first few days of February. Looks like the blowtorch starts coming back, especially to the eastern two-thirds of the United States. So we are going to thaw out very, very quickly, and we're going to quickly turn things to way above average, again, especially in the second two-thirds of the country, the eastern two-thirds of the United States. Thank you guys a ton for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you on board in this weather community. Again, we talk and track the weather together. 
I would love to know where you're watching from. I would love to know what the weather is doing where you live. Post that in the comments below. Don't forget your location, and we will catch you next time.